Hello, Raphael. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, I think I'm, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay. How was your day today? Well, but I was a little bit tired and oh, really? sad because we went to bury my uncle. So it was a little bit yes, sad. Kyle, I, I, yeah. Yes, you told me about that. I'm sorry to hear that. That yeah. must have been very difficult for you. Yes, I, I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm but doing... anyways, yeah. life is something natural, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. And, and was did he was he sick, or was it something sudden? Um, I think it was something sudden, mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, I think the, that kind of things happen, uh, for example, because um, it was a heart attack. So that was very sad. Oh, it was a heart attack. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's even worse because, you know, you, you, it's something you don't expect. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is the thing. Wow. Wow. And how old was he? Sorry? How old was he? Uh, he was um, 57 years old. 57? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was relatively young. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that you really uh, that's something Thanks. that um yeah no I mean you don't have words for that yeah. yeah is um was he married yes and he he had children and I think it's something very sad right because yeah. you don't want that kind of thing happen of course but they also happen <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. And as I told you, it's something natural. How is his wife doing? Well, they they don't actually live here. They live in Santa Ana. Where? So, Santa Ana. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So, but they 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 were very very sad. They mm -hmm. were crying during the funeral. It was very very sad. Yeah, no, I, I can only imagine that that must be horrible to be able yeah. to lose someone so close to you in that way without, yeah, without, um, without really, you know, um, any notice or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, pretty fear that. Well, you know, sometimes, yeah, things like that happen and. Um, you know, we just have to, um, you know, try to go on and you never really get over it. You know, you, it's, you know, people say, yes, well, you know, time helps, no, time heals. Yeah. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And it takes everybody different times, like a, a different, yeah. not everybody heals in the same way or the same time. So yeah. that's, that's, yeah. Everybody is different, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Thanks. Oh, well. And uh, what about Luis? How are you, Luis? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good, good. You know what? I'm just going to turn on one light so that I think I need a little bit more light here. So just give me one second. I'm going to turn on the light. Okay, okay no problem. Okay. All right. There you go. That's better. <laughs> I was feeling, I was feeling like in the dark here. Um, so guys, um, how was, how are you Luis? How was your, your day today? Um, I'm, I'm fine. Um, today has been a hot day, really, really hot day. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It has been a very hot day. 
yeah but um yeah i i i i find it really interesting how november is is being very hot um you know it's not supposed to be that hot it's supposed to be very cool but i've, I've noticed that this november has been very hot i don't know why yeah so i when, I, uh -huh. I think it, it was a update i don't know why but uh, I was thinking uh, today it was a, a, a rainy day. I don't know why, because um, when I woke up, I see the sky. Um, um, I think uh, it was it was a, a rainy day today, but but not really. It's, it it's <laughs> a hot day today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Very hot. Very, very hot. Yes. I know. I'm actually, I think I'm going to have to take a shower before I go to bed today so that I can go to sleep because uh, I still feel very like hot and sticky. <laughs> so good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that way, um, you know, I can, I can sleep a little bit fresh, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, um, Today, what I wanted to do, there are two things I wanted to do today. The first thing is I wanted to practice um, what we saw yesterday, what we um, learned at the end of the class. Um, so Raphael, I don't know if you had the opportunity of watching the, the class yesterday. Uh, or better said, no, sorry. Watching the class today from yesterday's class. Mm, uh, well, I didn't really uh, have the opportunity, but I imagine that uh, I don't know if if, if you um, advanced uh, and finished the section number two. Yes, yes, we actually did, Raphael. We finished um, section two. Okay. We saw how to talk about solutions to problems. Okay, okay. and uh, so that was like the end of section two. And today okay. we would be starting section three okay um were you a um were you able to finish section two already yes i finished uh, uh i think on monday yes on oh. monday i finished the section number two. Oh, wonderful and okay. i and i did the exercises that you that you left yay okay good 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 yeah so yesterday we, what we did was we um, practice the exercises that I left for homework. We checked the answers and we also um, learned a little bit about um, the ending of section number two, which was to use, um, talk about, use infinitives to talk about solutions, right? Okay. All right. Welcome, Maricela. Oh, it's raining. That's why it's been so hot today. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's been so hot. Okay, ah, okay, that, that makes total sense now. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so, um, the, okay, so anyways, um, yesterday, what we did uh, was uh, we started to, what well, we looked at, um, can you guys hear me right now? Can you hear Sorry. me? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, but not well. Not well. Yes. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Was that better? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, now, now sir. Yes. Okay, great. All right, so what I was saying was that uh, we saw yesterday about um, solutions, giving solutions using infinitives. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to um, review um, what we saw yesterday, just so you guys remember. Okay.
Okay, so um, okay, so right now what we're going to be doing is, um, like I said, just doing a quick, uh, a quick review of what we saw yesterday. Um, solutions using ing, or oh, sorry, sorry, not ing, infinitive, sorry. Infinitives. Yeah, infinitives. Okay, so infinitives. In, no, hold on. I'm spelling it wrong. Infinite. Infinitives. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so um, just a quick review. What I said was that the structure is um, we use. Um, okay, so we use, for example, uh, the subject, which we discussed with yesterday, could, that could be an expression, okay? So, we put subject, Oops. change that subject, uh, press expression, oh, sorry, subject, which is, in, it could be expression, a plus an infinitive, infinitive um, plus the verb to be, okay? And of course, uh, I'm gonna put the verb to be in capital letter because you, I, I want you to understand that be is always gonna be, like it's gonna be depend, it's gonna either be is, are, or am, right? Or was, or were if it's in the past. And then after that, we use again an infinitive, oops, sorry. Change that again. We use an infinitive, um, infinitive, and then after that, we would use the comp actually, usually a complement there. Okay, um, oh well, um, no, well, it's actually a, a, um, a choice. Okay, so a complement. Okay, and that's how we would create, we would be talking about um, the, um, the how to give solutions, okay? Um, so let's, let me put this in over here in a box so that you know that that's the, oh, no, sorry. That's not gonna work over here. Okay, so there you go. So um, to give you an example of this would be like, a, for example, um, um, the way to, okay, so the way, oh, sorry, I'm gonna change the color here. The way, the way to do, to do this is to um, the way to do this is to ask for um, for more help. Okay, so this would be the sentence here, and if you notice, we have the su the, the the subject or the expression, right? Um, so for example, over here we have, oh, sorry, no, I want to change that color. Okay, so here we go. So we have the, su the subject, which is expression. In this case, it would be the way, okay? Then we use an infinitive, okay? Over here we have the infinitive. Oh, no, sorry. 
my mistake. I want to put that. Have a circle. Okay, so we have the infinitive here. And over here we have to do. Okay. And we also use another infinitive over here. I'm just going to. I'm going to take the time since we're um, using the same color. So to add, so we have here to help to, to do. Okay. And um, after that, they, oh, sorry, we also have the verb to be. Okay. So we have the verb to be right here. In this case, we use is. And the reason why we use is is because uh, the way is singular. Okay. And finally, we have um, the complement. So let me underline that with, let's see, no, but we'll, we'll do a purple, okay? So we're gonna underline the purple so we have for more help, okay? There you go. So that's how we would do it, okay? And that's just an example. The other ones I'm not going to be underlining because of time. So because we already know this is just kind of, um, you know, more examples, just make sure that you guys understand it. So we have, um, we have um, the solution, no. The solution, okay. Those, oh, sorry. Let me, okay. Those, oh, sorry. The solution to that. Problem and I'm, this time I'm going to actually actually making the verb be in the past. So we're going to say the solution to the problem was to um, to raise more money uh, uh, in a fundraiser in a fundraiser. You guys know what a fundraiser is? No, that's me. I don't know this. Nobody knows what a fundraiser is? It's not when. No. There is another person who make fun, funding? Funding? No. No, a fundraiser is actually an activity where you, an activity that you do um, specifically to raise money for um, a certain purpose, okay? For, for to give an example, um, the Teleton is a type of fundraiser. It's an activity that what they're trying to do is to raise money or gather the money to be able to help uh, the organization funded, right? So a fundraiser, for example, at school, uh, maybe you remember that uh, you wanted to have like, maybe it was for your, your graduation. And what you did maybe with the, all the people at, um, in your school, or better said, no, maybe not everybody at school, but maybe your, your, um, your class, the graduating class, what they did was to sell um, different items. Maybe they had like a, a bacon sale. Um, so they, they were able to um, sell different things like um, uh, different desserts and things like that. And the money that they got from the sale, they would, uh, you would use it, for example, the graduation. That would be a fundraiser. Do you understand the word fundraiser? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So in this case, again, uh, we have the, the subject is uh, the expression. So in this case, the solution to that problem. Okay. And then in this case, we use, oh no, so hold on. Hold on, just give me a second. 
I'm actually going to change this because um, I just noticed that I, I missed the infinitive. And for to put in the infinitive, we're going to have to change the expression a little bit. Okay, so just give me a moment. I'm going to fix this, okay? Okay, I'm going to change it like that, and that's probably going to be the best way. So the topic to analyze was to raise more money in a fundraiser. So in this case here, we have um, the subject would, or the subject of the expression would be the topic. Here we have the infinitive to analyze, and here we have the verb to be, but in this case, it's in the past. We use was, okay? Then we have the infinitive to raise, and we have the complement more money in a fundraiser. Um, I'll give you another expression here. Sorry, I'm just going to change this a little bit. Hold on, it's cutting off, so I'm just going to change it over here. Make it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we have the ways to solve this issue are to talk frankly about it and uh, commit to a solution. Okay, so in this case, we have the subject would be the ways. The infinitive is to solve. Right, the uh, verb to be over here is R because we're talking about the ways it's plural. And then we have the complement, frankly, about it. Also, if you notice, I have a second because we have two things, two ways. And um, in this case, the second one, we're gonna use infinitive, but this time we're not gonna use the verb to be. Sorry, we're not gonna use the, um, sorry, the preposition. We're not gonna be using the preposition to. And the reason is because over here, we already use them to. So we, we eliminate, we don't want to be repeated. We don't want to say and to commit, okay? So it would, it would just be and to commit to a solution. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. 
Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. In the last part, what would be the translation? If we if we translate it, would be like comprometerse con una solución. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, con una solución. Okay. So, hablar francamente de, de acerca de él, yeah. what I'm talking about the issue, right? This issue would be like a problem, yeah. right, in this case. So, um, hablar francamente del problema, right? Mm -hmm. Y um, comprometerse a una solución. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right? Okay. Sounds good? It would be good if I say something like and commit to a solution. And commit to a sorry? Go with with solve it. With solve it. And commit to solve it. And commit to solve it. Um commit to solve solving it. To solving it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And commit to solving it. Exactly, because in this case, uh, we commit to something, okay? So if we're gonna do the something, then the, and we're using a verb, then we, to make the verb into a noun, we have to put the ing form. Okay. Does that make sense? It'd be an activity. Yeah, yeah. does that make sense or no? Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit confused because I mm -hmm. thought that it was good just put in and commit to solve it. To but I don't know. Um, okay, the thing to is, solve. okay, after commit, you commit to something, right? Okay, I'm gonna put something like that. So that's M T H. Okay, you you always commit to something. Okay, uno se se compromete a con algo, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, if we're going to talk about something, uh, we can't say solve it. Sorry, solve. Sorry. Why? Because solve is not a something. Solve is a verb. The something has to be a noun, right? Something's always a noun. So, we can't use solve because in this case, solve is a verb, right? Does that make right. sense? Yeah. So what you're telling me is that commit is one of those verbs that we can use the infinitive form after after it. It's like keep, put up, or uh, verbs like that. Um, no, okay. Uh, I'll repeat again what I'm saying. You always commit, okay. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not, let me and commit to it, let's say, okay? The it is a something, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we always have to, the after commit, you commit to something, say, say compromete a algo, okay? And the way that we do to be able to change a verb like solve, then to be able to change a verb to uh, to an a, to a something to a noun, it's by making it an activity. And how do we make an activity? We do it by using the the gerund form is solving. Like it's like dancing. I love dancing. Yeah. Okay? So, um. Oh, solving. Yeah, to solving. Yeah, in this case, it would be to solving it, right? And commit to solving it. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because like I said, if this is obviously not part of the topic, but I'm going to put here a sentence like, I love dancing. Um, why do we put I love dancing? Why? Because, because I love to do that. You love something because you love something. Yeah. For example, you can say, I love my mom. I love pizza. I love um, 
my job. I love, um, I don't know, Paris, okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So whenever we are talking about love, you love something, right, or somebody. So that's why we can't say just simply, I love dance, right? Because dance is a verb. Yeah, dance is a verb. Does that make sense? So uh, I love, yes. you know, we talk about something, but we can't put dance because dance is a verb. It's not, it's not a noun, okay? So in, in other words, what we need here is the noun. Okay, and dance is a verb. So how do we change dance to a noun? We change it by using? Dancing. Exactly, ing. Now, this becomes a noun. And then it would be correct. I love dancing. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. And, and in the sentence that we have first, um, is it necessary to have um, the preposition to after commit if we are going to put the the, the ing form of the verb so I'm sorry could you repeat that question my question is if is it necessary to have the preposition to after the verb commit commit if we are going to put the ing form of the verb so after that. Yes, because it has nothing to do with this. You always commit to something. But okay. who is part of the commit? It has nothing oh, okay. to do with solving. Okay. Thanks. That's why I, I, I'm not, this is this is just extra. This is about, that's why I originally I had put, um, I had put some, what did I put before? Not to make it so complicated. <laughs> um, to remember. What was it? I forgot. And commit to um, to a solution. Ah, to yes, solution. thank you. Yes, commit to a solution. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Okay. So here, that way we 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 make it less complicated because here we already have the something. You commit to something. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, good. All right, so guys, so that's just a little bit of a review of what we have we saw yesterday. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give you the new topic, and I'm going to keep I'm going to keep here the um, the information uh, from yesterday. I'm going to do it in the part of bottom, because, and you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to keep it like this. Okay. Um, this is a very um, very easy way to talk about uh, choices, okay? So when we're talking about choice, oops, let's make this um, bold so that it's easier to see. Okay, so choices um, using, using rather and prefer. No, sorry, prefer. So you guys already know that rather and prefer are two words that we talk about choices, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you can you you can decide if you want to use rather or prefer. They're both the same idea. They express the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sorry. It's not just rather. It's would rather. So. Uh, I would rather is the same as prefer, okay, or would prefer, okay, All right? So it's the same thing. You can decide. I would say that maybe would rather um, it's tiny, but tiny, 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 bit more formal, but it's really the same thing. It's it's pretty much the same thing. So it's not a, a big difference. Now. What happens is that you can decide which one you're going to use, but both of them have different structure, and that's what we're going to talk about that right now. So when we use, um, let's talk about using um, would rather. Let me 
let's change this to and the other one over here is would prefer, right? Would prefer. Okay. So we could say, I'm going to put this over here. Let's make it very central. Um, I I would rather um, stay at home uh, on the weekend than go to a party. Okay. Um, I don't know how many of you guys uh, agree with that sentence. Anybody would rather stay at home on the weekend than go to a party? All right, would everybody prefer yeah, to go to a party? Who said me? Who said me? I prefer to stay at home. You prefer to stay at home? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, okay, yeah. So everybody has different choices, right? Okay. So um, the thing is that, so we have here choices, right? We have two choices. The first choice is to stay at home and the other choice is to go out to a party. Um, now, per personally, I would rather go to a party, but during this pandemic <laughs> and during pandemic time, I prefer to stay at home, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, um, so, you know, there are different choices there. Okay, so, um, so that's, that's one way. We can also say um, she would she would rather um, would rather not uh -huh. would rather uh, work um, uh, longer hours but fewer days. So she would rather work longer hours, but fewer days. Um, so here we're talking about, for example, uh, you know, let's say that, let's say that um, you know, in El Salvador there are a, you know, by law you have to work 44 hours. Right? That's full time. Now um, most people work eight hours a day, and they work six days a week, right? So Monday to Friday eight hours and then four hours on Saturday. That's what normally people work in El Salvador. Now, but she would rather, so she prefers, in other words, that that's her choice to work longer hours. So not eight hours, but maybe she works 10 hours, but, uh, but fewer days, okay, but fewer days. So instead of working six days, she wants to only work five. Maybe she works four hours, sorry, four days, 10 hours. And the other day she works, um, she works four hours, right? Something like that. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes. 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 All right, good. Now over here, um, I can say you or they, they would rather not say um, anything about um, about the trip to her. Okay, so instead, so they have two choices. They can tell her about the trip. They can say about the, they can talk about the trip, or they could not talk about it. And they, what they prefer is that what they the choice is to not say anything about about the trip to her, right? Okay, so basically, if you notice here, uh, what I want you to notice is that with um, would rather, what we do is we use always would. Okay? We're always going to use would. Actually, we always use would rather. I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to like that. Uh, no, 
It's making them go off box. I think because of space, I think it's okay. Okay, so we always use would rather. Okay, independent of the subject. Okay, so if you notice, if I would rather, she would rather, they would rather, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so independent of the subject, it's always going to be would rather. Okay. Ah. See, um, if you would rather, okay. And then after would rather, we're going to be using, um, over here, we're going to be using the verb in the base form. So if you notice, it says stay, so it's the base form. Okay. The same thing here with work. You don't say she would rather work. Right? No, it's she would rather work. Okay? So it's always going to be the base form. The same thing with here, with say. Okay? So they would, okay, so then we have they. Even though we have with um, they, we use say in the base form. And it's the reason is because after would, which is a model, we always use the base form of the verb. Now, what I do want you to notice, though, is with this one, this last one, because it's negative, to make something negative, we just add the word not. Okay, so we have not plus the base form of the verb. Sounds good? Sounds good, everybody? Yes. Yeah? Questions? Okay, all right. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to continue uh, with um, the would prefer. The would prefer sounds, it's pretty much the same idea here. The difference with the would prefer is that, well, we'll see what, what the difference is. I'm going to write it right now. So for example, we can say, you would prefer um, to ask, um, ask, I, you would, or no, you would prefer to, um, you would, okay, um, you would prefer to, um, see, uh, to um, buy a, um, a new cell phone uh, you would prefer to buy a new cell phone and not a um, and not a new tablet teacher and what's the main difference between those ones yeah like I said before it's not you can choose you decide it's, there's really not very much difference there. It's the same, basic. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and then we have, uh, for example, he would prefer to uh, wear, um, oh, no, I'm sorry, he would prefer to live in colder weather. No, 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 no. no. Let me make, let me change this. He would prefer not to live um, live in a uh, cold weather. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it up to there. So um, again, here we have the um, the structure that would prefer or or what we call the um, yeah, the, the model, let's say, we can call it the model. Okay, so they would prefer, okay, they would prefer over here. And the same thing with he, even though it's a different subject, uh, would prefer here, we would use it with um, a, the same, right? So it's not gonna change even if the subject is third person singular, so it's gonna be would prefer, okay? Now, what I want you to notice 
is that there, yes, there is a difference with the verb. In this case, notice we have stay, work, and say. But in this one, we have, um, we have the verb to buy, okay, to buy, and to live. Okay, so what's the difference? What's the difference between um, would rather and would prefer? Basically, that the verb in this one is going to be in the base form, in this one is going to be in the infinitive. Okay, yeah. so this one's the base form, and this one's the infinitive. But in both cases, if you're going to be using the negative, it's always going to be not. Okay, so he would prefer not to live in cold weather. Okay, so we're always going to be using not a just the just the the regular word not in would rather or would prefer. But the difference is that this one's in the base form and this is the infinitive. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Did you yes, know? teacher. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and the third one of uh, would rather. What did you put about the trip to her? Um, um, I don't know how to oh, translate it. Sorry, no. Um, the reason why you don't know how to translate it is because I made a mistake about the trip, not the trip. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. You're probably like, what but, was going on here? <laughs> but but can be the trip? No. Yeah, it could also be their trip. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, if you want, we could do that too. Yeah. It's just, yeah, there you go. Third trip. And the three and the and the proposition too in that case is making the the action of with. What which proposition? Two. Uh, is, is, you say something, you say something to somebody. Right? Yeah. In this case, yeah. you say you say the thing that you think you say is about their trip. And you say it to the person. The person is her. Oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, um, and one last thing I want to notice, I wanted you to notice about this one is that we have not over here is the, right? Um, in this case, <clears throat> we use the word not, but we do not use an infinitive because obviously after the, the word not, there is no verb, there is actually a noun. So that's why yeah. we're, even if you use it or not, a noun, we're going to be using the word not. Okay. So they would prefer to buy a new cell phone and not, you don't have to repeat to buy, right? Because if you wanted to make this technically correct, it would be like this. Um, or better said, if you, you were going to, better said, if you wanted to make this complete idea, it would be like this. Um, and not, to buy a new tablet, not to buy a new tablet, but I don't want to say to buy a new tablet. Why? Because it, let me see if I can. You already mentioned it. Yeah, exactly. So we're, we already mentioned the word to buy and you guys know that in English we hate to, um, we hate to repeat ourselves. Uh, we'd like to make things short. Right, so that's why we're using, we're just using not, right? Mm. Instead of saying, uh, so we're just saying and not and use the tablet because the word to buy would just be eliminated because it's already over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sounds yes. good, everybody. Yes. Yes, sounds good. Good. Um, I have a question. Okay. Okay. You say that in will we'll rather we have to use infinitive, right? Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, no, not the infinitive, the base form. After would rather, okay. the base form. The base, uh, base one. And this is the infinitive. Or the T. Oh, okay. To be, to be, to be um, politically correct, this is the two infinitive. 
Okay. Then this okay. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, it's yeah, like it the good. only difference is to use two. Yeah. In, in preferred, just use two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. What I want you to do right now, I'm gonna give you a few more minutes uh, to talk to your partner. I'm gonna give gonna be assigning you uh, to work in 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 pairs, and I want you to think about uh, problems in your workplace. And I want you to talk about solutions and what are the choices that you would prefer for that for for those um those problems that you have at the workplace. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes. First, you talk about the problems and the solutions, and then you can talk about the choice what choices you would prefer for as a solution to the problem. All right. So you're going to be using both structures. All right. So I'm just, uh, if you want, you can take a picture. Go ahead and take the picture. Okay. So that you can use it. I'll give, I'm going to give you just a few minutes because we're, it's almost at the end of the class, but I do want you guys to practice. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. And we're going to assign you your partner. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, some, some groups are gonna be a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see the options. I'm gonna open it up for, yeah. Let's do eight minutes, okay. All right, so go ahead. And join your group. The way to solve this issue is to move to other country. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Okay. What is your solution? <laughs> uh, I, I, I feel my solution is so easy. Tell me, tell me. But yeah, for example, uh, the 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 best way to to solve this problem with the internet is to change the company, the internet company. Okay. <laughs> I think all company are all bad. Companies, all companies are bad. Yes. And not really. Not not really. <gasps> for example, in my case, um. I was uh, I I I was um, using the uh, Claro Internet, bad yes. connection, bad connection. But in, in my case, um, there are a new company. There is a new company in, in near my house. Um, its name is Nutel. Um, it's so much better. What name? Uh, uh, um, it's called Nutel. 
Intel. Newtel. Newtel. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Mine is uh, I would I uh, I would prefer to take a course in exercise science or than uh, nutritional science. Okay. I, re I repeat, uh, I would prefer to take a course in exercise science assigned than um, take a course in a nutritional assigned. That's good for you. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and about writing my, my sample is, um, I will rather learn English in Australia. I will rather learn English in Australia. Hello. I, I'm not I sure, but. I will rather. I'm not sure because you are speaking about the future, I think. No, no, no. I go rather learn. Okay. Learn. I use. Uh, I am using word to para las dos dos espigas. Um, the power. I think. So uh, I don't actually know that. The power cable. Yeah, it could be. I think the solution to restore my internet modem is to unplug the power cable. I think that it's okay. What do you think? Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah, the, right. uh, the solution to restart my internet modem is to unplug the power cable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me think on something else. When you say to restart your internet modem, you mean uh, the the device, the little yeah. device. Yeah. Okay. Because if you restart the device, the modem, you can restart uh, your connection to the internet. Your internet I connection. Think. That's, that's uh -huh. it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that it's the, the thing. Okay. What do we do? Uh, okay. Oh, and well, but uh, the internet don't fall. Don't yes, don't fall. Yeah, don't fall. Okay. Don't fall down. Well, don't fall down. It's it's a good option about that. To me, it's a good option yes. because it it's, <laughs> it it's so much better than 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 Claro. Yes, my my solution is. It changed the country. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well. This, um... this is a radical way to think, but. <laughs> yes. Radical, yes. <laughs> It is. But it's okay. But, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we maybe, have maybe, to do, yes, yeah? tell me, tell me. Uh, maybe, maybe change other things, no, <laughs> not only the internet, <laughs> you mm. change your country. <laughs> yes, I think that it's the only way to, to uh, solve that. Many problems. <laughs> yes. no, no, Many problems, yes, yes. No, no. really. Rather, uh, let me think. Ah, uh, or let me let me tell you something in in, in your example in, in the example two. Uh, you have to you have to aggregate or make a, the comparison with the with the good by yourself, but the, to ask for a for a fast food, for example. Luis, just be careful. It's remember, it's not aggregate. The verb is add. Just add. I sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, just just um, help you. You have to add. You have to add. Sorry, yeah, that's fine. Um, 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, please. And for example, you can say, uh, I would prefer to cook by myself than, uh, than to ask for fast food, for example. And, uh, what is before two or after okay. two? Okay, uh, could you repeat what, what you're saying? For example, I would prefer not, and I think that is not to, right? Yeah, not to, yeah. Not to. Not to, I yeah. Don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I would prefer not to, not to have to do it. I don't know, um, not to have or not to. Mm, no, not I to don't know. Mm, yeah, it could be. I would prefer not, not, not to have a bad, uh, like a poor connection. Oh, okay. I would prefer Okay, guys, um, so, all right, so you guys had a chance there to practice with your partner, right? The, the difference, yes. yeah. Any questions that you had while you are practicing something you want to ask me? Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say, for example, if I don't want my computer um, break down, breaks down, for example, um, no quiero que se queme. How do you say that? Que se queme? Yes. Get burned? To burn out? Um, okay. Yeah, you can say burn out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other questions that you guys have? No, not really, teacher. No, teacher. No? Okay, so it's clear the difference between would rather and would prefer? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, guys. So basically, you um, have enough information there to start uh, section three and to be able to go up to like at least half of section three, okay? Um, do you guys have any questions that you wanna ask before we finish up our class, wrap it up? No. No? Okay, so tomorrow what we're gonna do, we're gonna be looking at the last topic of section number three, because um, basically there's only two major topics for section number three. Um, so we're gonna look at the second major topic and we're gonna be looking at also the midterm, okay? So that's why I would strongly suggest and ask that you already, um, that you finish section two already and that you are working on section three so that you will be able to do the midterm by sometime by like a Monday of next week, you will be able to have it done, okay? Monday, Tuesday of next week, you should have finished the midterm, okay? Question? Okay, okay teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, guys. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention something important. Um, this course finishes on December the 10th. You guys know that? Yes. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the December the 10th is our last day. And that's when you should 
be finishing the um, the module, okay? Or sorry, the, the platform. Um, so uh, be careful because I know in the platform, it says um, a December the 14th that you have for the platform, but that date is only for administration. For you to finish the platform, you have to finish it that week, not on Monday, the 14th. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So don't be, don't, like this in Spanish, no se engañen, right? Like it's not like, oh, I have until the 14th. No, you have until the 10th to do it. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Please uh, make sure that we have all that done, that we can go for the next level as well. Because remember, finishing the platform is what depend what um what also determines if you are able to go to the next level or not. If you do, even if you have given all the documents but you have not finished the platform, there is not going to be a, a chance to go to the next level until you finish the platform. So we need two things. We need um, the, the platform done with 80%. Remember, it's always 80%. And we need the documents on time as well. So that's the other thing I need you guys to do. Be careful, please, that your documents are given on time. Okay, don't leave it to the last minute because there might be problems after that. Okay, so I think, okay. I think the, the documents, what, have they already sent the information about the documents? I'm not sure. Not yet, teacher. Not yet, right? But they will be soon, right? Yeah, not yet. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah they, right. we, remember this is the second um, week. So yeah, they will, be, they will be sending that very, very soon. Okay. Uh, please uh, link this one week uh, before they mm -hmm. finish the, mm -hmm. the course. Yeah, exactly. So I would say around these days and the following days, you should be receiving the documentation or the, the, the emails um, asking for the documentation to be given in. So please uh, make sure you remember that, okay? To enroll in the next okay. course, you said. To enroll for the next course. And the next course is gonna be until next year. Okay? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. But we, but okay, yes, the, the course is until next year, but the documents have to be in this year because, oh, okay. um, so this year we have to have the documents in to start in January, because if we do not have the documents in, in December, in January, we won't be able to start on time. Okay. 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 All right. So thank you for your advice, teacher. All right. You're, you're welcome, guys. Okay, so yes, that would be all. Thank you. You're welcome. So, guys, it's been a pleasure seeing you guys. Take care and uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, see remember, you tomorrow time. we're going to look at the midterm. See you tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yeah. see you yeah. tomorrow. Okay, thank you, teacher. Have good a good night. Everybody. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night.